Hi, I'm Peggy Farron, and we are live with the Understand Photography Show, where we talk about travel, nature, and fine art photography. Welcome to episode 93. Today's guest is Eden Chavez. Chavez. That works. Chavez. Chavez, Chavez. <laughs> I'm used to all kinds of whatever, whatever rolls on your tongue is right. Eden is a really successful photographer who's based in Miami, and we are going to talk about the importance of having a blog for your business. But first, I just want to remind you that all of our online classes are on sale for the summer through August. I forget now if it's through August or September, but I think it's just through August. Um, so they're like 33 to 75% off, and once you once you purchase one of our online classes, you own it for life, or for the life of my business anyway. So uh, it's a great time. You know, we've got some classes in there for $39. One of the really popular classes, besides the four weeks to proficiency in photography, remember that's our live class, it starts August 1st. But one of the uh, popular software classes, Joe Fitzpatrick put together a class on understanding Lightroom catalogs, folders, collections. Uh, it is. It's, it really clarifies all that because to me that's the most confusing part of Lightroom. So anyway, they're all on sale for the summer and our motto at Understand Photography is we simplify the technical. So go to understandphotography.com or you can go directly to our, our class site which is onlinephotoworkshops.com. I am also getting around a lot this summer, so I'm hoping you guys will come see me. Uh, this Monday, June 25th, I'm speaking at the Orlando Camera Club, so please come. Uh, July 12th, I'm speaking at the Cape Cod Arts Center up in Massachusetts. And then uh, July 13th through the 15th, I'll be speaking at NECCC.org, which is, oh my gosh, New England Camera Club Council Conference, I forget. NECCC.org. It's one of the largest and oldest camera club conferences in the country. And then I'm also speaking at the Southwestern Michigan Conference, SWMC, SWMCCC.org. They're all so hard to say. <laughs> And then August 4th and 5th, on my way home, I'll be teaching at the Lightroom in Panama City, Florida. So the, all that information will be on um, our website on understandphotography.com. Also in our newsletter, we put a newsletter out once a month around the first of the month. So please subscribe, subscribe to our channel. One more thing, I really want to thank everyone. As Probably if you watch the show, you know I'm not the most technical person on earth, and I just learned how to look at the reviews on iTunes. And we have 36 nice reviews from you guys, and thank you, thank you so much. That helps us a lot. All right, today we're going to talk to travel and fine art photographer Eden Chavez. Eden has traveled extensively, extensively with his camera. He's based in Miami, and he, he offers a lot of different photo workshops and tours around Miami. And other places yeah, too. Yeah, and other places, yeah. In so, Cuba, welcome. I'd like to go to Cuba. Ah, I'm Cuba's going to Cuba. Oh, are you? Have you been? Oh, I forgot to give my commercial for our trips too. Go I'm going for it. Go. Cuba, ladies only. Cuba, Havana, and Vinales, February 2nd through the 9th, 2019. When are you going? I, I don't have anything planned yet. Um, uh. I, I'm kind of taking a break from the photo tours. Okay. For a second. It's a lot of it's work. It's a lot of work. You, you know? know, it's funny because people sometimes, you know, we ha I have a lot of travel agents call me and they'll say, oh, you know, we can give you a free ticket. And I'm like, I would rather just pay to go <laughs> because <laughs> you work 24-7 exactly. when you're you're leaving. always on, you know, and you have so many personalities you're dealing with. And, you and it's just, fun. I enjoy no, it's it. Great. It's but great. it's work. But it's a lot of work. <laughs> people people don't, don't realize that photography workshops, photography tours, are a ton of work. They are. Yeah. From so the back me, end to the front end, there's just a lot of work. Yeah. But, yeah. So give me your short biography. My short biography, I'm a uh, travel and landscape photography uh, based out of Miami Beach, Florida. And I just love to uh, shoot photography. That's what I do for a living full time. I don't do anything else. And uh, photography changed my life. It, uh, it completely, it's, it gave me a passport to see the world, to experience new things. And I just fell in love with it. Now, um, the bulk of your money, is this, maybe this is too personal, is that, does it come from leading the photo tours? No, I do a lot of commercial work. Okay. So that's the bulk of it. Oh, and okay. And my blog is a, a good percentage of that as well. And that's what we're going to talk about. And that's why I'm here, yeah, yeah, yeah. So why does, a, why does a photographer need a blog? Well, I'll tell you why I started my blog. Okay. So I got into photography and I was still trying to find my voice. 
um, you know, when you first start taking photos, you don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you want to shoot. You're just kind of taking pictures randomly. Right. So I started a blog just to kind of share those images and kind of as another creative outlet. Was that before Facebook? That was uh, that was at the beginning. No, that was that was after Facebook. Okay. I just you know the reason I want I wondered is I forgot that I had a blog <laughs> from my old right. website, right? And it's still there. And so I was reading through it, and it was just almost, it reminded me of Facebook because I just would post like a picture and say something about it. What's in here? Hey, hey. <laughs> That's it's potent. just water. <laughs> <laughs> it's good water. But I, I, I thought, oh, now I just do it on Facebook. You yeah. just post. But yeah, anyway, no, I, always but kept, I always kept my blog. I, uh, it's just somewhere where people can go and actually be kind it, of... It's all there. Yeah, it's kind spot. of part of your life. You know, when they go to Facebook, they'll get sidetracked mm -hmm. three seconds later by something else. Believe like me. Like I do. I do, exactly. too. So that's how I started the blog, and fast forward to now, it's become a big part of my business. Okay. So blogging is really, really important to, to my photography. Okay, so why is it important? Well, I, I make money from it in very different ways, um, but that's where people find me when they're looking for a photographer in Florida. People kind of stumble upon my blog before they do anything else, so that's good. Is that is that how I found you? That, I think that's how you found me. Because yeah. I was looking for Miami photo spots. Yeah, and and you see, and I you found yeah, me. yeah, and I also sell a lot of uh, presets and tutorials and other things. Okay. So money comes in that way. But the number one thing that uh, that generates money is my photos. I can license my photos through my blog. Okay. So let's say you're a, you're a marketing agency and you're looking for a photo of Miami. So you Google a photo of Miami. My photo comes up. You click on it, it takes you to my website. You want to license it, you contact me, we work out a licensing deal. Okay, so how do you, do you tag them or how do you come up? Yeah, when you put them you on your blog. Remember, you're talking to a very non-technical <laughs> okay. person. Well, when you put them on your blog, you got to make sure you know, you know how, to, how to use SEO. Uh, but yeah, Google likes images. If you just post your image on a blog, on a website, um, Google will find it. Somehow, Google will find it. But if you know how to tag it correctly, Google will find it that much easier. Okay, so how do you tag it? Well, so you gotta... When you, like I use WordPress. Mm -hmm, so do I. So when I uploaded, oh, I remember somebody told me, don't name it IMG1234. No, you gotta put it... You rename it before you, right, before, before you upload yeah, it, so, right? So during your export from Lightroom or whatever software you use, you wanna name it and you wanna tag it. And once you get it into your uh, website, then you wanna do the uh, alternate names. You you want to go in there and really get specific with your image. Okay, so you, they have like your name, your alternative alternative name. Then it asks for a description. Right. So you want to fill you all that out. Oh, okay. Yeah, you want to fill all that out. You want to make it as easy as possible for Google to okay. find you. Okay. See, I'm lazy. Yeah. I never See, do all that I used stuff. to be lazy too until. I started. I quit being lazy, and then I started seeing really good oh, results. Oh, that is such so good now, advice. Yeah, so now I'm not lazy at all when it comes to my blog. So what do you name your pictures? Like, so you're exporting something, like you're exporting a whole folder in Lightroom? Do you, uh, well, do no, you? I, when I do a blog post, it'll just be, let's say I go to the Everglades. You know, okay. let's say I take 10 good photos, five good photos, whatever that may be. So I'll just put those up in my blog, and you just want to be really, really specific. But so when you're exporting them, what are you naming them? Are you naming them with a bunch of different? Tags I usually or? just name them like the Everglades. Oh, and okay. once I get into WordPress, then I'll, I'll you can change that up. Okay. Then I'll I'll, I'll rename those accordingly. So, so if it's Everglades, a, if, yeah. Ghost Orchid. Yeah, exactly. You want to get Big really, Cypress or something. You want to get really specific, okay. and you also want to see what people are are searching for. You want to find the keywords people are actually googling. How do you know that? So you want to get into Google and you want to do a search yourself. Things that you would uh, that you okay. would uh, you would Google that you would search, and that's how you kind of start tweaking your images to for Google to find you. Okay. So, and of course, the more the better. So if you can post and upload constantly, then that's really really good for you. So. How do you, when you say you license your images, you just you just have a one-on-one -on -one hand ag agreement with people. You don't yeah. go through agencies no, or anything no, no. like I, that no, because I, they take 90% the, right, of the money, I am right? The agency. So basically, let's say you're you're looking for a photo of whatever, and it's one of my photos. 
So basically you would contact me and then we'll just start negotiating. Now, do they license them to print them or do they? It, it depends. A lot of people just want them for a website. A lot of people okay. want them for their blog. A lot of people, it just really depends on, okay. the, on the client. Um, and what do they, what kind of pictures do they want? It just depends. Is it mostly like scenes of Miami yeah, and the Everglades? It really and depends. Like it just depends who the client is, what they're looking for. And usually like a advertising agency is working for somebody else. Okay. So whatever that client wants, the agency tries to find. So instead of the agency going to another agency, they find my pictures through my blog, through my site and contact me direct. Okay. So. All right, so when you're uploading, let's go back to that. So yeah. you're tagging them very carefully. Mm -hmm. How do you, what resolution? Is there a certain resolution? Uh, yeah, I try not to, uh, a thousand pixels wide on the widest side Okay. is good. Um, that way your, your blog can load fast. Because if your lo blog loads really, really slow, if your site loads slow, people are going to leave. They're not going to Well, wait. Google won't pick it up is what I learned. Exactly, right. Right. So you kind of, uh, you want to keep them small, but make sure you keep them the quality nice. A, a lot of people use 600 pixels on the widest, um, on that's the widest side. That's what ours are. Yeah, which is pretty small. Uh, yeah, it is. They don't get too big. Yeah, especially now with uh, this beautiful 5K resolution screens. You know, so I think you want them a little bit better, um, but still you want to keep them small enough for your site to just load fast. Now, do you just, well, you use Lightroom, so do you just say 1,000 pixels on the long side? That's the only thing you don't do anything else to optimize? No, no you do. Um, so on the, I wish, well, my laptop. Um, on the, so you got to be at 72 DPI because that's what screens recognize. You don't want to be at 300 DPI. Okay. Um, so you want 72, that makes it a smaller image. And I also use uh, some software, it's called JPEG Mini. Okay. This is not an advertisement. Uh, and that also shrinks your image that much more. Oh, I don't know about Without that. messing up the resolution. So you export it from Lightroom and then you put it through this JPEG Mini? Correct. But and yeah, there's also a plugin for Lightroom where it just does it automatically. Oh, okay. It's like a $100 plugin, but it's really, really worth it because oh. it makes your image, it cuts it down in half. But it still makes it look good. It makes it look good. Though you can't even tell. You can't even tell. And when you're thinking about, when you're looking at upload times, um, in your blog, in your site, when you go to a site, you want this thing to be two seconds, three seconds tops. I know. You go over three seconds, four seconds, people are going to start to leave. Yep. And if it's people in, you know, in Mexico or in uh, some different country where the internet's not as good as ours, it oh, takes yeah, twice that, as long. Yeah. So you want to make sure you're, wow, you're... That's so, so, that's such good advice already. <laughs> I'm learning here. Yeah. And we'll put that JPEG mini it's link really in, the, in the show yeah. notes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I what like else? This, uh, this is good. It's water. <laughs> <laughs> I got the hook up here. I don't understand photography. You like my cups? I jo do. Joe They're got cool. those for me from Very I think cool. for my birthday. I, I can't like remember. Them. Very. I felt so such big shot. Now I have mugs. Yeah. This is, <laughs> this is good. This is good. I like it. All right. Is there anything else about like? resizing or anything uploading or tagging that we need to know no also well yeah on the wordpress on the wordpress site there are actual plugins that will also shrink your images that much more which i also have one on my site i forget what it's called off the top of my head okay well tell me and we'll get it in the show okay, notes yeah that way um you want to basically make sure your your site is loading as fast as you can possibly load okay that's when people go into it Okay, that's you good don't to wanna, know. You, know, you don't want to upload full resolution images because that site will never, ever load. Yeah, I, I have a lot of problems with my website right now, and I'm hopefully getting a new website in a week or two. Nice. But this is, it's a WordPress-based site. Right. So I'm, this is good for me to know yeah, all this stuff. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, now, do you, are they just like blog articles, or do you have like different galleries, like a website, or how does uh, it yeah, work? Yeah, well, I just started putting different galleries. Uh, at first, they were just blog articles, kind of my thoughts, my feelings, my emotions. You know, it's a blog, so it's a way for, for me to kind of express myself. It's a different outlet. Well, I mean, when you're talking about your thoughts and feelings, though, is, isn't this a business blog? It's... it's Aren't your feelings a little too touchy-feely for no, us? <laughs> no, no. no, because they go into my photography. You know, I mean, my photography has a lot of feeling and emotion. It's okay. not just a snapshot. It's not just a photo. So when I blog about an image, it's your, when I take an image, you're 
you're looking at part of me, part of my soul, part of my emotions, right? So when it comes to blogging, it's very personal for me. Okay. And blogging is also, it's not just a website. You know, photographer, every photographer has their, their portfolio website. It's just right. a stagnant, beautiful website where people look at their images. Well, a blog, you can get a little more personal and people can learn a little bit, bit more about you and that's how you create an audience. So what do you, what do you, what do you say? Give me some ideas. Like <laughs> oh, what, what? You gotta go read it. I know. <laughs> but uh, this is a podcast, a show. Okay. People are, no, it just depends. We See, don't want them to leave to go read your blog. Okay, don't read it, guys. <laughs> don't read it yet. Um, no, it's just, um, it, I basically talk about the images. So if I do a nice series so on the Everglades, for okay. example, I'll talk about those images. You know, what uh, kind of what took place to get there, what I was feeling, what happened. Some technical stuff. I used to do a lot more technical. I don't do that so much anymore. Um, I'll tell you what camera I used, what lens I used. That's about the extent I'll go to it. Uh, but I like to, to get more into the emotion side of it. I just think it's important for you to connect with somebody um, in that way. Yeah. You know, ever since I started kind of writing that way, I get a lot more emails and a lot of responses that are very personal to people. They're like, wow, Eden, when I looked at this image and read what you had to say, it really touched me. It was, you know, and it's, it's cool, right? I mean, that's ultimately, that's what yeah. you want to do, right? N d do you allow comments right on your blog? Oh, yeah, yeah, people and can so comment. Not a lot of people do. Some people do, some people don't, but people, for some reason, feel more, um, feel like they need to email me or write me and I try to respond to everybody. Sometimes it takes me a, lo a long time, but I try to respond to everybody. Yeah. Uh, and people tend Well, I've to noticed that with the podcast with this, a lot of people have emailed me, but they haven't written reviews and right. it's nice. I appreciate the yeah, emails, yeah. but I would like the reviews too because <laughs> they help reviews, us. <laughs> Come on. Oh, right. But yeah, that's right. but I think people feel a little shy about their they feelings are, sometimes. Know, not everybody wants to kind of Yeah, yeah. kind of be out there. So, so. okay. So how much, all right, so you're writing articles, or not articles, they're not articles, well, they're, they're more they're, like... They're blog posts, they're, some of them are about, about, about my personal life, you know, like my stories with my photos, and then I also do a lot of reviews, and then mm -hmm. I also do photography location maps, which is how you That's found That's how me, I found you the right? first time. Right. Actually, my assistant Heather found you the second time yeah. when she was looking for guests and I'm right. like I've been on this site <laughs> <laughs> yeah so those are really good um, let's say for any photographer that really wants to get their business going you know like in a local level mm -hmm. they it's really good to do to do blog posts about their city so let's say you you're in Naples so in your blog you should be doing um, you know best places to photograph in Naples best restaurants to eat in Naples by there the way, I did, Joe Fitzpatrick and I did write a book on that. <laughs> Best Florida photo spots, Naples and Collier County. I but was go just ahead. looking at it. It's actually really, really good. <laughs> Thank you. So, but yeah, that's what uh, you want to do as a local business to get that local audience. And to, just to, and and why do you recommend a local audience? Well, if you just want to, let's say you're a portrait photographer here in Naples, and you want to do portraits in Naples, you want the local people to find you, right? So that's how people are going to find you if you go. Google uh, best photography studios in Naples. Yeah, you know you want to be in that list. You know, I I had a guest on the show, Reg Garner, who lives in Sanford, Florida, and he's got a huge internet presence and he sells his artwork all over the place. But he he pretty much did what you said. He became like the Sanford photographer. Everybody knows him as that. Right. But and Sanford's a small town, you sure. know. But he. He is the king. He's the king, but that's spread because of sure. the internet. That's great. So it's it's really good advice. Even if you think, well, my audience is broader than, like I live here in Naples, Florida. Still being the queen of Naples right. is still a good thing. Of course, absolutely. And yeah, of course, you, wanna... you live in a big city, right. Right. so it yeah, really, you... really helps if you're yeah. in a big city. I would imagine, but although you... it's harder to be king. Because you got a little say, more, a little more competition, yeah. I guess, in a but big it's, city. You know, it's not hard to stand out in a big city. No, you just gotta be yourself. Well, and you gotta tag all your stuff and <laughs> do <laughs> You gotta work your butt off. Yeah, you, you gotta to work. work. It's, it's a lot of work. So that's one thing about blogging that people don't understand. People see a, a, a website, a blog, they think it's just a site. Uh, there's actually, it's never-ending work. Um, before I got in the car to come here, I was typing up a blog post. I didn't finish it. I went to get a bite to eat. 
I opened up my laptop and I was continuing on the post and then I had to come here so I closed it as soon as I leave here I'm gonna carry on with that post so I can post it Probably and you too. also planned ahead and brought a little video camera oh, that yeah, you're yeah. taking a clip out of yeah, this yeah, yeah, you don't trust me to give you a clip ah, <laughs> I'm just teasing you <laughs> I don't trust you I trust you but I have one how much time do you spend on Blogging? your blog? Every second. So if I'm not taking photos or if I'm not doing fun stuff, if uh, basically if I'm at home or not doing anything, I'm with my laptop, do you tweaking my blog, doing a blog post, so uploading an image. So give me a, an amount of time, like an hour a day, 20 oh, hours a day. We're talking about four hours a day. Four at least. hours yeah. a day? It's a marriage. Wow. It's a marriage. You know, but it's when when you're generating income when you're on vacation from your blog, it, ma it's it makes sense. It. It's like, wow, it's. Do it's you cool. take vacations from your blog? I don't, but I, <laughs> I love doing it, you know. It's just part of my life. It's become part of my life. Now, do you schedule blog posts or anything uh, like that, or do you just kind of. I do, I do. Do you I use do. some kind of special software? No, no, no. Does WordPress just do WordPress that? WordPress does it all. So you just upload, you type, and then you can. You can just put the date on there. Me who I do use WordPress, but I'm I'm not that good yeah. at it. No, WordPress <laughs> is it's a great it's great. And so it's yeah, great, and yeah. I I don't know what else do they use for blog software nowadays. Uh, I'm not sure. Because is Blogger still around? I think Blogger's still around, and now that's what my old blog was on—the one that I just found. It's still there. Yeah, I've never had a Blogger. Um, I've always, I started. It was with, easier to use than it? WordPress. Yeah. Yeah, WordPress can be a little intimidating, but yeah. once you get it, it's really, it's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay I mean, I've been learning it for probably I don't know many, many years. Well, I've you'll had. never stop learning it. Yeah. That's the thing. But yeah. I don't. I don't spend time right. with it. You know, I just. I go in there when I need to right. because I have like our online photo workshops where we have our online classes that's on a WordPress site, site that somebody else put together and uh, boy I go in there and I can't remember where things yeah. are and yeah. you know see that's why it's important for you to build your own blog I think you know I know a lot of people are super busy they're just crazy but sometimes you have to do the work you gotta figure it out in order to to kind of master it not by no means am i saying i'm a master of blogging not by a long run but i think i have a pretty decent blog and i think it's fairly successful and it's all because i know how to tweak it and i i do it all myself so how often okay let's take me okay i'm not going to spend four hours that's on a, a lot of time yeah i struggle it takes me five hours to put together my newsletter each right. month and i it is hard yeah, for me. I'm up till one in the morning half the time because yeah. I'm like, I'm very, very, I've only missed out of like 12 years of this newsletter, I've missed maybe twice. Okay, that's I've good. gotten it out every month. Even if it's like a little short one, I've gotten something out every month. But normally it takes me about five hours to put that thing together. I can't imagine a four hours a day. It's a pain, yeah. Well, I also, I have, so, I, I have another website too so this is between my blog and my okay other so that's two sites yeah but if I if I want to start blogging regularly how often should I post content does it I would say I'm, this is gonna sound crazy don't freak out I would probably say 10 days out of the month 15 days out of the month you should be doing a post now Google likes it when you're posting often okay you get found easier you're you know, Google sees that you're working, that your blog is up to date. And something that you could do is just sit down on a Sunday for four hours yeah. and crank out yeah, six exactly. or seven blogs yeah. and then schedule them, right? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Although it, it sounds like just uploading the pictures is going to take forever. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you know, that's the hard part. I think as, as creatives, you know, when we, I do, and they, everybody does this, every photographer does this, they will edit their photo they have it all like really nice and they'll upload it then they'll be like oh i don't like this photo so they'll go back and that's the problem with it that's why it takes so long because we're just crazy you know we're never happy with our own work uh, and the second we like like it we kind of like it we're like no. and then there are people like me who are just not very organized so when i put my my newsletter it probably takes me an hour right but it takes me four hours to find and put in yeah, the right that, well, pictures the that go yeah, with it, that's you know? That's the work, exactly. Or if I don't have a, 
a fresh blog article or something because in my newsletter we always have at least two you know we will put maybe expert excerpts from a show that's sure. really good but then we'll have at least two blog articles attached to the newsletter and if I don't find one that I like I'll just I'll write the whole article right. you know so that's part of the reason it takes a long time yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> and then finding the pictures and the, yeah, it takes forever I mean it's work you know so. it's not just like now do you outsource any of this work I sometimes I outsource for one of my websites I outsource for my personal blog I don't okay All that stuff is mine it comes from in here uh, but for one of my other websites I outsource some of it, not all of it. Like, what could you outsource? Well, if you want to do reviews, if you want to do a review, you can outsource that. Hey, you know, how much would you charge me to do a review on this lens? Or Seriously? Know, yeah, of course. Ah. Or you can even outsource stories, you know, if you want, uh, let's say, a story about Naples, you know, like whatever story you want about Naples, you can hire a writer to write you a really nice piece on Naples. Where do you find them, though? I remember I tried that, HireWriters.com, and oh my gosh, I paid the premium for the <laughs> premium, premium people, and they were just like, they were terrible articles. You know, I, I It was like a computer spit them out or something. Oh, they no, didn't, they were good. bad. Yeah. And I, I thought I was going to do it, so I, you know, you can like put $200 in there and then spend the money, yeah. and I never, I just, I, I tried like seven or eight different writers, wow. and then I just gave up. So I use Fiverr. Really? So Fiverr. you've had better luck with Fiverr. Yeah, That's F-I-V-E-R-R -R yes, dot com. Yes, Fiverr. And uh, the name would suggest that everything's five bucks. It's not. Oh, They've nothing's come. five bucks yeah. on Fiverr. It used to be, <laughs> it though. It used to be, yeah. yeah. They've, they've come a long way. But uh, no, they have really good writers. They all have reviews. And for the most part, they'll uh, revise your the writing till you're happy. Okay. A lot of them will. And I've never had bad luck. They're all... Well, you good. know what, though? That's, see, that Higher Writers is a big company right. that's farming it all out, where this is... It's directly is, to the source. Exactly. This which is, is uh, some guy, some kid, some who knows who, but they're actually sitting there writing the book. That's book, good advice. Writing it for you. And what the, else could you outsource? Uh, you could outsource really writing about anything. Um, obviously not photography, because that's what we do. So the photographs, as long as you have really nice photographs, the writing, you can outsource writing about anything. But I mean, if you even wanted, you could outsource somebody to make up a story about your image. Um, if you want to be like extremely lazy and not do it yourself, you could actually do that. I mean, it just depends what you want to do, how deep your pockets go. Um, so. So how do you get the people to look at your blog? All right, so you already told me about the tagging, which is and it's optimizing key. your right. photos. That's really important. How else? I mean, well, you, social you... media, obviously. Social media is free. So you put up. So every time I upload something to Facebook, okay, there'll be a link uh, to my website or my blog on that photo. So let's say I just got back from Greece and I've been uploading photos from Greece. So I'll put a photo, I'll put a little caption about the photo, and then I'll put the link to my blog. Oh. And a lot of people click on it because okay. people are curious. Just because they don't comment or like on your photo, in social media doesn't mean they're not looking okay you'd be surprised how many people are, are snooping around in your life that uh, don't say anything at yeah. all yeah so you always want to make sure you use social media especially because it's free yeah so you don't have to spend any money so so do you have a like a system okay so you write the blog then you post it facebook instagram twitter or i i, I do have a system but my system always breaks so it's very random that's but, my problem yeah, exactly, in life because we're creatives you know we're not we're not the, the we're just everywhere so uh, the system's always breaking but i'm very committed to the craft Okay. So I'm always on it. I'm just got to make sure I get it done. And now, sometimes I'll take a break from my blog. I won't touch it for like a week. To me, a week is a long break. <laughs> um, but for the most part, I'm, I'm tinkering with it. So do you just like, now you just told me you're working on it all throughout the right. day, but do you have like a way, do you like first thing in the morning? Like one of the things my son told me about this, um, it's a website blocker called uh, freedom.to. Okay, I've never heard of it's it. It's like twenty dollars a year, I think, and uh, I block Facebook and my email. Oh yeah. Until ten thirty, I can't even get on my email. I can because I can check my phone. Yeah, right. But I don't have like a, a phone addiction. I've got a computer addiction. Right. So, in the morning now, I work on a project, 
instead of That's good. wasting my time. Yeah. Because you check your email and then somebody tagged you in Facebook and then you're sucked into I, Facebook. And you get sidetracked, yeah. Yep. It's terrible. And you waste so much time. So much time. Next thing you know, it's noon and you haven't accomplished anything. Exactly. So it's yeah. really helped me a lot. But I mean, do you have anything like I don't. You no. just sort of. I'm pretty you committed. Just sort of committed. Yeah, because I also so. do videos. I also have my YouTube channel. So when I wake up, I'm like editing videos, I'm writing a blog post, and then I have a huge Facebook page. Um, so I'm. I want to make sure that that keeps going. Now, is your YouTube, is that part of your blog too? No, my YouTube is just my YouTube. So that it's is. not even related? I mean, well, you're obviously everything's it's related. Re everything's related. What's on your YouTube? My, so my YouTube are photography tutorials and kind of a vlog. So when I go on a photo adventure, I'll do a little video about it. Why don't you put that into your blog? I do. Sometimes I do blog posts about it. But okay. I, I do so much video that I can't, it just becomes too much, you know? So. So my blog is really mainly for my images. Oh, okay. Because I like people to to look at my images, to buy my images, to license my images. Okay. To share my images. So is the type the main type of business you get from your blog on the licensing? Or? Is the licensing and also photography gigs in in, uh, in Miami. So that's how I've gotten some big clients, some big names have actually stumbled upon my blog looking for a commercial photographer in Miami. So you post like you, when you say commercial photography, what do you mean first of all? Uh, like uh, big campaigns, like a campaign with the Corona or a campaign uh, with big names. So, so like product photography or? Uh, yeah, like I did a, a, with Corona, I did a, a thing. It was like a road trip campaign with Corona. So that was a, that was a cool job. That was a cool gig. And so do you, bl you blog about that as you're doing it? Uh, no, no, no. This is what how people have found me through my blog. I know, but why did they hire you? They must have seen other commercial work on yeah, your yeah, blog, yeah. right? Yeah, sometimes I, I post, it's just posting stuff, posting content on the blog. So you put everything on your blog? Yeah, as much as, as much photos so as I can. So you put the yeah. commercial work, yeah. The, yeah. the travel work? It's, ma the it's mainly travel and landscapes, but sometimes I'll do an article about uh, about whatever, sure, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. And personal stuff too. And personal stuff too. Not super personal, but personal. But do enough. you have a? Fa are you married? I'm not married. No, no kids or nothing. 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 I have a dog. You have a dog. Have Does a dog. a dog make it to your blog? <laughs> Chula makes it to the videos. She's she's, she's famous on the videos. What's her name? Chula. Chula. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's cool. She's a rescue. She's really cool. Oh, yeah. I love dogs. Yeah, me too. She's a, a mini bull terrier. Oh, I don't know what that looks like. Like the Target dog? You oh. know, remember Spots McKenzie? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like that. Oh, yeah. how cute. Yeah, cool. Chula. Chula. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so, yeah, but that's. Uh, okay, so why, why not just use Facebook? You can use Facebook, and you should use Facebook along everything else. But when you Google something, your Facebook will never ah. appear. Good Let's say point. I'm Googling commercial photographer in Miami. Your Facebook will never pop up. But my blog will. You're right. My I blog that's will. a great you know. great point. Now do you have a separate website and a blog? Or is I have a, yeah, I have my portfolio website and then I have a blog. Is it attached to it's it? It's attached to it, yeah. Okay. So, so your portfolio website is a more stagnant site. It's just site, a stagnant though. portfolio. People go on there and they get an idea of what I do. What you can do and right. that and kind of stuff. And then they click on the blog and then they can start really getting to know me, getting to know my work. Okay. And kind of seeing everything that I do. So they'll stumble on a video, they'll stumble on a tutorial. Um, okay. All right. So let's say that I am um, a bird photographer, which is kind of funny because I'm really not. Okay. <laughs> In fact, they were making fun of me because uh, I was amazed. Somebody asked me for bird f f photographs, and I have a ton of bo bird photographs. Oh, yeah? And Joe was making fun of me because <laughs> I'm not that interested in bird photography. I love shooting birds. But I love I love birds. Right. In fact, one of my if you look at my Facebook page, you'll see I talk about my bird feeder <laughs> all the time because I got this relationship with the birds that hang right. out in front of my office. Um, but anyway, so let's say I'm a bird photographer in Naples, Florida, and I want to sell my artwork. Okay, and I don't, I'm not a computer person because, I, for, for instance, most of my customers are, you know, I'm, I'm pretty old and they're uh, older than me. Most of, <laughs> most of, most of mine are as well. Um. So, 
Is Word, well, you said you don't know the other blogging software, I don't right? know, but WordPress is really good because you can tweak your SEO, you can tweak. But how do they go from, from start to finish? Like, I don't, let's say I don't know anything about. <laughs> it's a long process. It I mean, but I know there are like WordPress themes. I don't really understand what that means. It's just what the, so a theme is what your website looks like in the front end. So how do you, do you sign up? Do you remember this? It's probably a long time no, ago. No, no, do you remember you every single sign day. up for WordPress? Yeah. And then, and then do you say, hey, I need a theme? So when you sign up for WordPress, then you add a theme. A theme is like putting a dress and on And do they the, give you choices yeah, there's, there's free, right there? There are free themes or there are paid themes. Okay. I have a paid theme. But you only pay once, right? And, you only buy and once, they're not yeah. that expensive, they're are not. they? You can get some for 20 bucks to 100 bucks. I think mine was like 70 bucks. And if it, if it looks good off right out the gate, yeah, then, then it's worth good. it, right? Yeah. You still got to tweak it a little bit, but once it's up, it's up. Then, then you just got to upload your content. And so WordPress is free. Right. But do you have to host it you somewhere? You have to host it somewhere, yeah. How do you do that? Well, you can uh, go to Bluehost. I recommend Bluehost because it's so inexpensive. So okay. Bluehost is like $3 a month. Oh, wow. That That's is ridiculous, cheap. right? Yeah. Yeah, so it's like three ninety five, so four dollars a month. Um, super inexpensive, and you can buy your domain name there. So if you want to start a blog, this is something I wish I would have done. Instead, if I knew then what I know now, right? Yeah. So I started my blog with my name, right? Because I wanted to make my name the brand. So Eden Chavez. Well, not a lot of people are going to be interested in some random dude named Eden Chavez. Oh. So when you're starting a blog, if you're just starting, I would recommend going with a crafty name, like uh, something just that sounds cool, something that sticks. You know. Well, you know, for me, I, when with my website, I was so excited. I used to go on GoDaddy and just search for names right. for the training <laughs> center, right? And I, when I came across Understand Photography, I was so excited. Yeah. That's a great name. Well, except for everybody adds an ing. I went on your understandingphotography.com right. and it didn't come up. I'm like, because that's not my name. Oh, no, right. And I can't get that site. The guy wanted like $30,000 yeah. or something yeah. for the domain. I said, forget it. Yeah, there's a, there's a ton of so, names that are taken. Yeah, so it's pretty hard to... But what about Eden Chavez photography? No? Yeah, yeah. I mean, so uh, at least it says, at I mean, least now, it tells now you. It's, yeah, now it's not a problem because now... Now you're established. Uh, yeah. But when I started, like nobody, you know, yeah. nobody knows where to go. And if you have something, something catchy, something cool, like I just bought a new domain. It's called EpicSunsets.com. Ooh. So I might, I might do something with that. EpicSunsets.com. Yeah. That is a good one. <laughs> Another one of my websites is called ShutYourAperture.com. Oh, that's so, cute too. Yeah. So if you have something catchy, more people are attracted to it. And they can remember yeah, it. Yeah, as opposed to just the name, you know. You know, I, listen, I told you, we were talking before that I listen to a lot of business and marketing podcasts. Okay, now I'm going to forget now that I'm a live <laughs> thing. No, no. But the guys, the guy uh, who this, was... This is, this is good stuff. Oh, stop it. It's <laughs> water. But the guy who was the um, sponsor, mm -hmm. you know, he had a little, we had a little commercial for him. And his, his, uh, his website was, I forget exactly now what it was, but it was something like, watchbillysvideo.com <laughs> but it was so funny because yeah. i remembered it because yeah, i listened to the blog or right. the podcast in the car it sticks yeah. and you don't you can't write things down right. and and you know i mean we work so hard we being heather right. heather the assistant <laughs> she works so hard on the show notes but let's face it a lot more people listen right. or watch than are going to actually go to the website exactly. and look at the show notes right. so if you like you said if it's you have catchy. a catchy yeah, most, most that's hard to come up with. It though. is, and but most of the time, like Eden Chavez, people don't even know how to spell that, so they wouldn't even I know. know how to find me. I couldn't me. say it exactly. <laughs> Chavez, exactly. But you know, like something like Epic Sunsets, that will stick to your oh, brain, and you'll go Google yeah. it. Yeah. You know, so if you're starting out a blog, that's the number one thing I, would I like. Tell that you. that's good advice. Take a good name. But you just have to sit there on Bluehost and just search through you things search until it. you yeah, find you just one. Kind of because get crafty. you really need a. Do you think you need a dot com? I, I think you do. Do you um, think I'm wrong? I don't think you're wrong. I think you do. I think you should have a .com. Because I think people forget if you're a .net or something. They do have .photo now. They have .photo. They have .miami. They have .anything now. Oh, do they? But I think the go-to is a .com. Yeah. Now, another good one is .org. I think oh, that .org yeah. is good, too. Um, but I think .com is king when it comes to websites. Okay. I think you should get a .com. 
That's just me. I think I agree because I think so. that's people will forget if you're yeah. a dot something else. I, I can't remember the last time I visited a dot net. Uh, well, you? I just I did visit that freedom.to, but I couldn't remember. <laughs> I had to get back to my son. I signed up for it and I, I called my son. I'm like, what was that website? Because I can't remember right. how to get back into right. it, you know? Right. Because it, it wasn't common. Okay, so good name. Yeah, so good catchy name. That's the and key that's number hard. One. You it's just hard. have to sit there yeah. and see if get it's a dictionary. Used. Get a couple of buddies. Open up a bottle of champagne and just start throwing them names out. Well, you have to sit there and type them in to see if they're available. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the hard yeah. part. And they cost what? Ten, twenty dollars? Uh, no, you can get them for like six bucks. Oh wow! Yeah, and then and I think a blue host they'll give you one if you sign up with them to host it. I think they'll give you a free dose. Wow. Yeah, okay. so it's ridiculously inexpensive. Okay, so then, then what? Then what? So then I've got the domain. Then I go to WordPress. And then you go to the host. So you'll go to Bluehost. Let's say Blue, you can do whatever. Um, I, just, I use GoDaddy. Okay, you can do GoDaddy. I just think but Bluehost, Bluehost sounds like it's less it's money. It's <laughs> super inexpensive, um, and they're really good. So you go there, and then it, you click one button, and it says Install WordPress, and it does everything for you. So that's all you so have to do. So when you say install, don't you first have to go sign up for the WordPress yeah, site? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you first you sign up for WordPress, then you get the domain. And then you install it by clicking a button on your host. And most hosts have them now. I think GoDaddy has that too. Okay. Then you just click a button that says install WordPress. Wow. And it will install it for you. Now, if you want to go to like super, if you're like really challenged when it comes to computers, um, which don't worry, I am too. That's why it takes, everything takes forever. But you can do like Square Squarespace has got a really good, um, a really good hosting, and their websites look really nice. And a lot of people are starting to blog on Squarespace, and it's fairly inexpensive. I think they're like twenty bucks a month okay. for everything. Okay. And you would even get an email with them, I think. And that'd be less. And it's just less less complicated. They right. kind of do everything for you. I mean, you still have to do stuff in the back end. But it's not as much. Yeah, because WordPress can get a little confusing. It can get a little overwhelming. There's a lot to WordPress, but there's a lot you can do with WordPress. There's a but lot. But I think most people are like me. We just don't want to. We no. don't want. I am so <laughs> sick of sitting at the computer. Know. You know, but that's the that's the game. I people, know. People people think photographers are out there drinking champagne in, in yachts all day. You know, I wish that was the case. It's really not. We go shoot the sunset. We go do our our commercial jobs, we go travel for jobs. But most of the time when all that is done, you're in the computer editing the photos, sending the photos, writing newsletters, writing blog yeah. posts. Sitting you know, at the computer. Exactly. So it's computer. not it's not as, uh, as it's not what people think. Normal people think, ah, oh, it's a photographer, this guy's got it going on. Well, now do you think there's value if I go back and try to optimize all my yeah okay so like i'm getting this new website mm -hmm. so she ported all of my blog articles i have a lot of uh, hundreds of blog articles That's great. um and i kind of got out of the habit just because i got so frustrated with my website because it was just I don't even want to get, I start getting mad when I think about the website. I've had so many problems with them. But, but you know, those will never end, let me tell you. Yeah, they I don't know. Never... I've had a lot of websites in my life, and this has been my worst experience oh, by yeah. far. Um, and the uh, most money I ever paid for a website. Yeah. And the worst experience. Wow. Yeah. Anyway, um, so she ported everything over there, but nothing was optimized in the first place. So... How would I go back and do that? Would you I just have to do them individually. So I would just take one of the posts. Would I take the pictures off? No, no, no. You can leave them. Leave the pictures or replace the pictures. You can replace the photos. Because I didn't name them right, though. Yeah. They're all but IMG, it, but 1, But in two, WordPress, three, it's beautiful because when you go to your media, uh -huh. I don't know if the viewers In the library? Are, yeah. If you go to the media, in, inside your media, you can see all of your photos. When you click on that photo, um, everything comes up and you can rename everything on there. But can you rename the actual photo too? That you uploaded? No, you can't rename it the file itself, but you can rename it on the blog, which is all that matters. Really? Is it all that matters? Yeah. You don't think it matters that it's named IMG1234? No, because you can rename it. You can, re you can change the title okay. on the actual blog. Okay, so and I could just go in there that and up. that could be something that I could have outsourced somebody from Fiverr do exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you know I started going back to my earlier post and I've been 
working on them to making them more SEO friendly and that's just a ton of work. That's why I'm saying the blog never ends. The work on it never ever ends. What else can you do to make it SEO friendly? Uh, okay, well there's a, a plugin for WordPress. It's called Yoast. Y O S T? Yes. And this plugin teaches you how to become an SEO master. Yes. <laughs> I could see you struggling <laughs> for a word. I was gonna say something else about masters masters. <laughs> Yes. Uh, so what the plugin basically does, it tells you what you need to do to the article. So it'll tell you to add a header, a header. You know, it'll tell you to to add more words. It'll tell you to take away words. It'll tell you to optimize this, that, and it does it all kind of in a checklist, okay. so you don't get overwhelmed. So you write your article. You look down. You're like, okay, let me tweak this. Then this little light turns green, and then because all the lights are red, and as you write these lights get turning green. Oh, that's so cool. And by the time you're done with it and Yoast approves, then every light is green. And that's like really good SEO, really good, really friendly. So you're going back and optimizing mm -hmm. right. all your articles. Right. Wow. What other plugins do you use? Uh, there's so many, but th the main plugins you should be using is that Yoast plugin and also a uh, image the JPEG yeah. thing. What was it called? JPEG. JPEG Mini. Mini. Th yeah. That's before you upload to your. Oh blog. oh oh oh. Okay. But within WordPress, you should get an image, something that shrinks your, uh, your did images. Did you tell even me more. that already? I did. Do you? What was the name? Oh of no, it? I did. I did. I couldn't think of the name. Oh oh. There are oh, a few. Okay. I forgot which one is installed in mine. Okay okay. Because that one I actually outsourced on Fiverr. Somebody came and kind of cleaned up my my, oh. all my plugins and all the back end of it and kind of suggested plugins that I should add. And he suggested that image one, and I left it, and it works really well. OK. My loading times are like, pop, pop. That's you awesome. Yeah, it's really good. Well, I just had something that popped in my mind I wanted to say. Oh, do you blog, write, do you write your article right in WordPress? Uh, yeah, yeah, everything's in WordPress. Because yeah. that's my advice is to not do that. You know why? Why? And I don't know because you are, you're control of your own website, right. but you know I have this website I outsourced to somebody, and they lost all my articles. They lost all my pictures once, oh. so they did find them eventually. But I had a, my website down for a while, yeah. and then I, and then they did never they never found all the pictures. That's not And good. all the links were gone. I told you this has been a very bad experience with this website company. It's unbelievably That's bad. That's not good. Yeah. Um, but. Most of the articles I had in a Word document that I saved in Dropbox, yeah. but not all of them. And I certainly didn't have all the links and all See, that. All mine oh are my in my God. WordPress. So. so you make them first in WordPress and then? Yeah, they're just oh, no, in they're, WordPress. No, they're in WordPress. They're just in yeah. WordPress. No. But how are they backed up? They, the, the hosting company I do backs them up. Who's my hosting company? Bluehost. No, mine is in Bluehost. I started with Bluehost, oh. but I had to change because my main site, um, when I went, when I bought my main site, which is a photo folio, is my main portfolio site. Well, they also offered a free blog with their monthly thing. Oh, okay. So they moved everything on there. But um, the new host is really amazing. And they're really, really good. And they keep back up. Of it. My blog has crashed twice. And I call them, and they have it up and running immediately with a backup from earlier. I think. Maybe I lost one article that I had posted. Okay. And you know. But you don't you don't keep them backed up uh, yourself. You no. trust in somebody else, huh? I'm not trusting, but I don't trust anybody no. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at some point you have to trust somebody, right? Not right? trusting. <laughs> I just so. I, I've never dreamed I would just because I've had websites. I mean, I've been in business, you know, most of my life. Right. On my own business, yeah, so too. I've always had. I've been in business all my life. Yeah. I've always had a website. Right. I've just never had a really, really bad experience yeah, before. Websites are a pain in the butt. You know? They're not good. Yeah, but you think when you pay somebody as much yeah. as I paid those people, it'd be a no. instead of being the best, it was the worst experience. Right. All right, what else? What have we missed? Ah, I don't even know. Okay, so we know what to do now. We're going to go to WordPress. Then we're going to go to Bluehost and find a domain. Domain. Wait, we're going to go to WordPress. We're going to sign up. We're going to find a theme we like. Then we're going to go. You, can, you find the theme after you go to after you have everything set up. Then you install the theme. So after you have your okay, WordPress. so you just sign up for WordPress. Then you go to Bluehost. You find your domain, and 
Then you install the WordPress. And then you install And then you install the, the, theme. the theme. Correct. And there are endless themes for WordPress. And then, I know. Like endless. I Anything you could imagine, somebody's built it for WordPress. Some are really amazing. Some are clunky and crappy. I've probably tried a little bit <laughs> a million times. But some of them are really, really good. OK. The theme that I use is called Theme X. Theme X. Theme X. And it's, you can do so much with this thing. It's okay. like endless possibilities. Okay. And it was like 69 bucks, 70 okay. bucks. Or our alternative is to go to Squarespace, which does hosting, Which does everything, everything for you. One you thing. pick a beautiful, they have beautiful templates. But they might not have all these optimization plugins, exactly. right? Exactly, they don't have any plugins. So because you WordPress got, has been around a mm -hmm. long time. So, so with Squarespace, you kind of got to know about SEO when you're typing an article. Okay. Because they don't do anything. It's just a blank page, you upload your photo, and you type your article. So if you don't know about SEO, you're not really doing yourself any justice. With WordPress, you have all these plugins that can help you teach you about SEO and help you put your website together so Google finds it very easily. Well, you are inspiring me to go back and clean my, well, I'm <laughs> gonna wait till I get my new one because right? they'll probably lose everything. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope I'm a not. little negative, but no, no, no. oh gosh! All right, so what? So so um, I think that's it for the blog. What 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 else you got coming up? Gosh, I don't I don't I, I have a wedding in October. You getting married? No. Ah! <laughs> no, no, no. no, no, no. That's, I'm not, you yeah. don't shoot weddings, do you? I don't know. No, it's my friend's wedding, but uh, I'm taking that time to go to his wedding, and I'm also taking like a personal trip. Where kind of. where are you going? It's uh, it's in. Um, the wedding is in, uh, uh, oh gosh, <laughs> Cancun, but we're oh, going. Oh wow! But I'm going to Tulum. Tulum? Yeah, it's a really beautiful is. place is it in, Mexico? in Mexico. Yeah, it's in the Maya Riviera. It's just. And you, it, are you are you? I'm is Mexican. You, yeah. But you're you're not personally Mexican, right? What or, do you mean? Like, are you from Mexico? I was born in Mexico. Oh, because you don't have much of an accent. I came here when I was 12, um, so I'm more American than I am Mexican. Okay. But I'm, my blood is Mexican. But you don't have an accent. I mean, most people from Miami have an accent <laughs> even when they're born there. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes my accent comes out pretty strong. I guess I'm having a good day. It's this stuff you put it's in here. Not, that's water. That's like water. It. That's water. <laughs> So are you going, what are you bringing? What kind, are you bringing all your gear? Yeah, so uh, that's funny you asked me that. My gear, my travel gear is super simple. So I carry a tripod, a camera, and two lenses. So I usually have a 24 to 85 kit lens that is really, really small. I don't have, I have a uh, 24 to 70 2.8 really nice lens, but it's big. And heavy. And heavy. I've got that lens. Yeah. <laughs> so it's my I, favorite lens, yeah, but I don't, I don't travel yeah. with it. So I have a kid lens. Um, Are you a Nikon shooter? I'm a Nikon shooter, okay. yeah. And then I also bring my uh, 14 to 24 wide angle lens. Those are the only two lenses I ever travel with. You don't bring a long lens? I don't ever bring a long lens. It's, it's rare when I bring a long lens. It's really And rare. what about the tripod? Do you have a recommendation for uh, a I use I use a Mi Photo Glo Globe Throtter. Because it folds up so you can fit it in your carry-on case. Oh, nice. So I don't have to carry it with me. Okay. And it's really light and it's big and... St and, and it's pretty sturdy? It's good. We'll put that in the show notes to yeah. remind you. Yeah, and it's, it's, a, it's like 150 bucks. And I've tried every oh tripod gosh. in the planet. That's a great yeah. price. So, and it's really nice. So th that's really all I bring. A bunch of SD cards and batteries, obviously. You don't bring a backup camera? Uh, sometimes I do when I'm going to some crazy place that I'll probably never go back to. I'll bring a backup camera. Uh, in this trip, Mexico is like right there. So Mexico is right there. <laughs> <laughs> so I probably won't bring a backup camera. No. Wow. Well, you'll have your iPhone. I'll have my iPhone, which I never use to take photos. Is that crazy? Really? I never, ever use that thing to take photos. Wow. And I just got the iPhone X, and my friends were all excited about it. They're like, it takes great pictures. You got the two lenses on that I've thing? never taken a photo. I mean, I take, you know, with my dog, me at the park with the dog. You know, just like, like crazy, yeah. like stupid photos, but actual beautiful photos. I've never, I don't, I don't bother with it. Wow. Because <laughs> so. that's the phone you, I mean, that's the camera you always have that's on right. you, though. See, but if you're me, you always look. You always, yeah, yeah you got a big right here. camera right next just to you. Like, get picture. a little insecure if you don't have your camera there. <laughs> no, I just got to make sure I don't miss any moment. So, so where can we find out about you? What's your website? So my website is my name, Eden Chavez, E-D-I-N-C-H-A-V-E-Z.com. 
And with my name, you can find me everywhere. I'm on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, probably, yeah, anything you could imagine, I'm on there. You can, and my blog, if you Google me or whatever, my blog will pop up. Wow. My blog is the first thing. And that's, that's in, within the website anyway. Yeah, exactly. Because we want to see your blog now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If, you know, if you want to go shoot somewhere cool, uh, I have a lot of cool photography location spots on there. Yeah, well, I that's even have one here for Naples, so, even though it's it's fairly small, but it's cool. What was it? I saw it too, and I forgot. I looked on your website now, and I went, "Oh, he's got a Naples thing," yeah. but you didn't have much on there. No, I have like four, three or four spots. They're gonna have to buy my book. They should. It's I, only it, the ebook is only four dollars and ninety nine cents. I think they should buy it. And believe it or not. I make more commission off the ebook than I do on the print because I'm it's sure. on print on demand. It is so expensive I'm you sure, wouldn't believe yeah. it. Yeah. We're selling the book for twenty seven dollars and we get seventy five cents commission. Wow. Or maybe it's seventy eight cents. I That's forget. not good. You should scratch that idea and just yeah. sell Well we sell a lot more ebooks yeah. then. But yeah. a lot of people like to have a, a book. Book, yeah. you know, and uh, it's a good book. I was looking at it. Thank Before you. this started, I Thank like it. You. We've it's been, really we're very book. proud of it. Yeah, <laughs> as you should be. It's a lot of work, right? Yeah, well, you've done a good job yeah. on your website oh, for Miami you. locations, Thank though. You. You've got a lot of good you have locations. have no idea how many jobs have that blog post has created for me. Really? You have absolutely no clue how much money that, just that post. No kidding. So if you're watching anybody, go look at that post. That post has made me so much money in the past two years. I think it's been live for two years. And, and mostly from getting commercial jobs from getting or licensing? Commercial jobs and licensing both. from both. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Now I better get I better get some of my new blog posts here, some yeah. good Naples photo spots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you know, if you get, that's the beauty about a blog, you know, your work is always out there, even when you're sleeping, so people find your stuff. That's, that's how you found me. That's why I'm sitting here because of that, that blog is post. true. And I wasn't even me. I mean I had found you before, but Heather's the one who found <laughs> right. you this time because right. she she was like, this guy, I'm like, yeah, I've been on that site before. <laughs> cool. And yeah. then when we talked on the phone, it's just, you're going to have to come back on the show with other topics for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely, yeah, no, I, I would Because you, you've to. got a lot of good information in that to. head. Thank <laughs> you. I try. Thank you. Well, thank you for being on the Understand Photography thank Show. Thank you for having me. It's been a blast. I and guess. I look forward to seeing a little bit expert excerpt on your blog. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, the link back to me, of I course. hope. Hey, I'll link got, to you too, though. I got you covered. You'll be all in our show notes, don't Sweet. worry. I got you guys covered. Hey, uh, thanks again for the nice reviews that I've just found on iTunes. <laughs> I really, really appreciate it. It helps us come up in the search engines the more, you, the more reviews we have. Um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, too. That's another thing that helps us. We have to have a certain number of reviewers, I mean, of subscribers and views on the YouTube channel in order to come up in the search engines. We have all these things. It's tough. Just like Eden said, you got to work at it. So we appreciate any help you can give us. Remember, we've got a whole, all our trips planned for 2019 and, two, well, 2018-19 season. The first one is our Mount Dora ladies trip, December 5th through the 7th. I changed from February to December. Um, because I want to see the Christmas lights in Mount Dora, but we're still going to do the boat trip and all the cool things that we do and stay in the cool bed and breakfast in Mount Dora. So if you're interested in that, that's in uh, December 5th through 7th. I don't have my notes, so I'm going to go by memory. Joe is leading his Everglades four-day trip in January. I don't remember the date, but I do know that I think he only has two openings left. That thing sells out every year. Um, then, of course, I'm going to Cuba, ladies only. Sexist pig, right? <laughs> ladies only to Cuba, February 2nd through 9th. Then Joe is doing St. Augustine in April and the Forgotten Coast, which is up in the Florida Panhandle. We love that area. He's doing that in May. So go to understandphotography.com to check out our upcoming trips. And then come see me this summer, all the different places I'm speaking. I'm Peggy Farron. Thank you so much for watching episode number 93 of the Understand Photography Show. We'll see you next week when we interview wildlife photographer Jeff Coe. Thank you for watching the Understand Photography Show. It would help us immensely if you would click like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Get up.